The being finished speaking and fixed his looks upon me, the expectation of a reply, but was bewildered, perplexed, and unable to arrange my idea sufficiently to understand the full extent of his proposition. He continued, You must create a female for me, with whom I can live in the interchange of those sympathies necessary for my being. This you alone can do. I demand it of you as the right where you do not refuse to concede. The latter part of this tale had kindled a new anger it that had died away while he narrated his peaceful life among the cottagers, and as he said as I could no longer suppress the rage that burned within me. I do refuse it, I replied, and no torture shall exhort me a consent for me. You may render me the most miserable of men, but you shall never make me the base of my own eyes. Shall I create another like yourself, whose joint wickedness might desolate the world? Be gone, I have answered you. You may torture me, but I will never consent. You are in the wrong, replied the fiend, and instead of threatening, I am content to reason with you. I am malicious because I am miserable. Am I not shunned and hated by all mankind? You, my creator, would tear me to pieces in triumph. Remember that, and tell me why I should pity man more than he pities me. You would not call it murder if you could precipitate me into one of those eye drifts and destroy my frame, the work of your own hands. Shall I respect man when he contemns me? Let him live with me in the interchange of kindness, and instead of injury, I would bestow every benefit upon him with tears of gratitude at his acceptance. But that can't be. The human senses are insurmountable barriers to our union. Yet mine shall not be the submission of abject slavery. I will revenge my injuries if I cannot inspire love. I will cause fear, and chiefly towards you, my arch enemy, because my creator, do I swear inextinguishably hatred. Have a care, I will work at your destruction, nor finish until the desolate of your heart, so that you shall cause, curse the hour of your birth. You have fiendish rage animated in his face as he said this. His face was wrinkled and contortions too horrible for human eyes to behold, but presently he calmed himself and proceeded. I can no reason. This is the passion is demented with me, for you do not reflect that you are the cause of success. If any being felt emotions of benevolence towards me, I should return them a hundred and fold. For that one creature's sake, I would make peace with the whole kind. But now I indulge in the dreams of bliss that cannot be realized. Why I ask you is the reasonable and moderate. I demand a creature of another sex, but as hideous as myself. The gratification is small, but... Is all that I can receive, and it shall content me. It is true we should be monsters cut off from the, all the world, but on that account we shall be more attached to one another. Our lives will not be happy, but they will be harmless and free from misery. I know feel my creator. Oh, my creator, make me happy. Let me feel gratitude towards you for the one benefit. Let me see that I excite the sympathy of some existing thing. Do not deny me my request.